the time of fall camp where everybody like freaks out because players aren't practicing and, and, you know, simple, we, we talked about this off air. Um, we've been covered a lot of fall camps and usually by about the midpoint of week two ish around now, mm-hmm. guys are sore mm-hmm. hamstrings, sprains, just minor stuff, but it kind of leads to a little bit of a freak out like, Oh no, what's going to happen. And, you know, we're at that point. I mean, Teddy Prohaska, we know is out with a, a what's well, called a tweak. We, I would assume it's a knee, but I don't. We don't know that. Matt Rule has not confirmed that. Um, Xavier Betts not at practice. We don't know what he's out with. Malachi Coleman not at practice. Marcus Washington um, comes back after his cast off his hand. Um, then he falls down on his leg. Funny, he's on crutches. So you've got a lot of those going on. And by the way, Eric Gilbert not practicing. No update on his waiver. So I think that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, is can they get through this back part of camp? Uh, and get this football team ready to play on August 31st. Yeah, the receiver position is something to look at. I mean, it, you you hope that when we go over Saturday and Matt Rule addresses us again, right, that he says, yeah, Col- Coleman, Mal- Malachi Coleman and Xavier Betts are back and that Washington's full go, ready to go. And that's what you hope. And you don't want that receiver position. You don't want th- those injuries at the receiver position to drag on. Let's just face it. Washington and Betts are two of your top four. Correct. Almost for almost in any scenario. Coleman, not, not as much. Um, probably has a little ways to go based on what I'm hearing. Now, one thing I would say, Sean, I still consider this kind of early in camp. I don't know that the dog days are about the 12th. Through the 15th. Well, they'll move out of the dorms on Saturday. So, like, they're, they're, I mean, they're on the back stretch of the dorm line. Oh, that's like, that's a good point. And I'll tell you something. That's, that's when that move really looks good, Rob and Sean, because that'll give, in a sense, it'll energize the kids. <laughs> you know, it will. It'll give them some energy as they go into what I would say are the dog days. It'll it'll energize them going into the okay. We're going home to sleep on our own beds. We get our dogs. We got our girlfriends. All that, right? Mm-hmm. So that that move will look even, I think, better next week yeah. when they're out. I think the concerns though are wide receiver was already maybe the biggest question on the offense, just in terms of personnel. And now you got a bunch of guys that aren't even practicing right now. Where we for several practices and so that i think leads to some concern just because you got a lot of young guys that you want to see get reps that aren't out there and then marcus washington was supposed to be one of your uh known commodities absolutely and he's suffered two injuries already so yeah. you yeah. have billy Kel- kemp and then what else so that's that's i think where that concern comes from and then you know you look at some other spots like you know the, the offensive line with not just prohaska but uh, nerd and willie uh, missing some time. Um, you know, he had the green jersey on when we saw him on Tuesday. Doesn't seem like it's anything serious, but again, it's positions that were probably some of the the, the bigger concerns going into camp, where guys that you were counting on aren't practicing. And so I think that's where kind of the here we go again mentality for Nebraska it's fans start to set in. <laughs> you, but you have to, you know what, Sean and Rob, the good teams have depth. You can't, yeah. you can't when a couple starters go down, as Sean says, freak out. The one thing I would add to this is New Ely's injury is big. I talked to a veteran coach who is still practice observer who believes that New Ely is their best lineman. Hmm. Now you don't hear that all the time, but that that's a big that was a big loss last year. He's in the concussion jersey though. I don't think he's out. That's just a concussion. Yeah, like he wasn't in the yellow. When you're wearing the green, you're concussion typically. No non-contact. I think he's okay. Yeah, no, it's and Lutoski had been working in his spot. Um, who's a spin a starter like Matt Rule made an interesting comment. He said we just need seven. And when that whole group is healthy, they have seven. Corcoran, Ben Hart, Le, um Teddy Pro, Teddy Prohaska, Piper, Latoski, Ben Scott, New Ely. Willie. That's the seven. Yeah. That's but a pretty good seven. If you take out one or two of those seven, then you're getting down to a lot of unknowns. <laughs> Listen to us though. I got to listen to myself sometimes. I said that's a pretty good seven. I would. It's come on. We're, it's still the biggest question mark on offense. Now I know what you said about receiver Rob, but I'm I'm I just can't say that that the I I'm still no saying offensive, the offensive clearly. Yeah, that's the biggest on question. the team. Yeah, on the entire team. Yeah. Now we now I guess the best way to put it, Sean, is 
those seven give you the best chance to be good. Um, we'll see what it looks like. I I would think they're going to be all right. And how about um back to the camp layout? Just the mental kind of moves by Matt Rule, like practicing at night on Wednesday, then afternoon Thursday, Smart. just to to create mental breaks, physical yeah. breaks, mm -hmm. recovery. Um, and and then they they took him to the soccer game. I, I, we were talking about this off air. <laughs> Can you, I just can't imagine like any other coach like saying, "All right, boys, load up the bus. We're going to the soccer." I mean, Riley, right? They didn't do it though. They didn't do it, but uh, I would say I mean, Riley would do that. There's this. This has been as different of a camp as I can remember between the two practices to yeah. start it off, living in the dorms, you know, the the TV yeah. show, the yeah. water balloon fights, the pranks. Yeah, I mean, going to the soccer game. I mean, it's totally a different version of Nebraska than we've seen, and, that, and that's what you would expect when you when you make a change like this. And Matt Rule kind of wiped the slate clean. I mean, he's brought in completely new people obviously all the way around him. I think one of the reasons they can do stuff like that, like get away from football is because how much they maximize their practice time. Oh yeah. Like you, it's, you just, we're there for 20, 30 minutes, but you just see how efficiently everything is. Like mm -hmm. there's a zero wasted second from when we we're there. I remember I, I put this in the weekly uh, RSS chat this week where I was standing kind of by the, in between the indoor fields and the outdoor fields and they switch the period ended and there's the walkie talkies going on with all the GAs and equipment managers and all that stuff. And one of the kids was like, 906. And I looked at my clock, it was 906 on the dot. So that means they're charting every minute of practice and making sure they know when a, a period oh, yeah. starts and when it ends. And so there's there's no waiting around. No, and, the, and they have an and intercom where they announce over huge speakers. It's like where they yell out what, what the drill is. It's not coaches yelling, there's literally a speaker. So everyone hears it. Like right. there's no wasted time. There the and the old the old Pats, uh, former coaches from the 90s are giddy right now because finally there's a coach in here that is the, no, the players are not standing around. Mm -hmm. How many, I, I can't tell you how many times I had one of the old coaching staff or a former player over the years say to me, God, there's so many guys standing around over there. I mean, you'd go back to the bow era for sure. Sean, I think you'd go back to the Callahan era and guys would frost era for sure where guys would say, except there's just old coaches, former players would say, sip, there's just too many guys standing around. They don't listen to Osborne. For some reason, Scott didn't listen to Osborne. I, I have no idea why. Because there's a lot of work. Rule, it takes a lot of work to manage that many guys. Right. Rule listened. And they, there's no, there's very few guys standing around at practice now. We have to make that very clear because we've, I've criticized coaches for it. Can't criticize Rule. He's he's got guys working. All the guys working. I mean, just to think about all your players too. It just takes a lot of thought. I mean, just think about on our day to day basis. You know, if I told you you need to manage an additional fifteen or twenty riders that aren't at your level, Steve Sipple. But well, I, yeah, I need you to find that, by the way. <laughs> I, 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 you're not going to find that. But but you need to go out and, and take Joke. care of and manage and make sure right. that these guys are are you know getting the proper training and reps. Oh, it'd be a, it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But they but not, but here's the thing though, as you guys know, there's a ton of staff over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, back in the '90s, guys, they had two GAs. That was that was the extra staff. Okay, <laughs> now you go over there. There are guys I still have no I, earthly idea who they are. When right? it, <laughs> I have no earthly the idea. The updated budget just came out yeah. for like the upcoming year on the UNL records. And the amount of people that aren't coaches that make between 50 and 150,000. I mean, it, it's just like, <laughs> it's like this 20 inch list of names. Right. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I mean, I mean it's, just, it's, it's crazy. So that's mm -hmm. so, but that's, see, that's now, Big Ten. I don't want to branch off, but. I guarantee you won't find that list at Toledo. Mm -hmm. You won't find that list at San Jose State. Stanford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. But I. that's where the inequity – there's a lot in – there's some inequity there. But anyway, yeah, it they, they do have a ton of staff to help. It helps. 